72 hours after Google's mysterious Nano Banana project went viral, the dominoes in the AI world started falling one by one. Stanford sounded the alarm for young workers. Hackers discovered AI as their new weapon. Nature itself began learning from AI. And Chrome is no longer safe. But this is just the beginning because the biggest domino hasn't fallen yet. But what if I told you that these five major AI developments from just the past week are all connected? And what if the pattern they reveal shows us exactly where AI is heading next? Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. Today, we're covering five massive AI stories that broke in the past week. And by the end of this video, you'll understand not just what happened, but why these developments together signal the biggest shift in AI we've seen yet. We're talking about Google's mysterious project that went viral, how AI just beat weather experts at predicting hurricanes, why Stanford is sounding the alarm for young workers, how hackers found a new weapon in AI summaries, and why Chrome just became dangerous. Let's dive in. Our first story begins with one of the most intriguing mysteries in AI this year. For weeks, users on Elm Arena, that's the platform where AI models compete anonymously, were going crazy over a mysterious image generator called Nano Banana. This model wasn't just good, it was crushing every other AI image generator on the leaderboards. People were creating photorealistic images with incredible detail and consistency. Social media was flooded with Nano Banana creations that looked like they were shot with professional cameras, not generated by AI. But here's the thing, nobody knew who made it. The model appeared anonymously and speculation ran wild. Was it OpenAI testing a secret Dolly update? Maybe Midjourney's next version? The mystery deepened when Google's DeepMind CEO, Demis Hassabis, started posting cryptic tweets about strange objects spotted under the microscope. Then this Tuesday, Google dropped the bombshell. Nano Banana was theirs all along. The official name? Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. And it's now available to everyone through the Gemini app, API, and Google AI Studio. But this isn't just another AI image generator. Nicole Brichtova, Google's product lead, told TechCrunch they're really pushing visual quality forward, as well as the model's ability to follow instructions. The model can do things that seemed impossible just months ago. Want to put the same person in five different outfits and poses while keeping their face perfectly consistent? Done. Need to combine two completely different images into something that looks natural? Easy. Want to edit photos by just describing what you want changed in plain English? That's exactly what it does. At $0.039 per image through the API, Google is directly challenging Adobe's dominance in photo editing. Free users get 100 image edits per day, paid users get 1,000. And the quality? It's setting new benchmarks across the board. But here's what makes this story bigger than just another AI launch, the strategic deception. Google deliberately tested their model anonymously to get unbiased feedback. They wanted to see how it performed against competitors like Dolly and Midjourney without the Google brand influencing users. The fact that Nano Banana dominated the charts proves Google didn't just catch up to competitors like Dolly and Midjourney, they potentially leapfrogged them. This reveals something crucial about how AI companies are now operating. They're not just building models, they're playing psychological games, gathering intelligence, and making strategic moves we don't see until it's too late. And speaking of not missing important AI developments, if you're finding this valuable, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss when the next big AI domino falls. Also, share this video with anyone who needs to stay ahead of the AI curve. Trust me, these five stories connect in ways that will blow your mind. Now let's continue. While Google was revealing their image secret, something even more significant was happening in the world of weather prediction. For the first time in history, an AI model outperformed human meteorologists at predicting one of nature's most complex phenomena, hurricanes. 
Google DeepMind Weather Lab AI model just achieved what many considered impossible. During Hurricane Aaron in August 2025, their experimental system provided more accurate track and intensity forecasts than traditional physics-based models used by meteorologists for decades. Here's why this is revolutionary. Hurricane forecasting has been one of the last bastions of human expertise over AI. These storms are incredibly complex, chaotic systems sensitive to tiny changes in atmospheric conditions. Traditional models use the fundamental laws of physics, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, running on massive supercomputers for hours to generate predictions. But Google's AI takes a completely different approach. Instead of simulating physics, it learned from 50 years of historical storm data. The model can generate 50 different hurricane scenarios up to 15 days in advance, and it does it in minutes, not hours. The real-world test came with Hurricane Aaron. According to James Franklin, former National Hurricane Center branch chief, Google's AI had the best track and intensity forecasts for the first three days across all models, beating even the corrected consensus aids that have become the gold standard. But here's what makes this story connect to our bigger pattern. The National Hurricane Center is now officially incorporating AI predictions into their forecasting workflow. This isn't just a research experiment anymore. It's operational reality. Dr. Kate Musgrave at Colorado State University, who evaluated the model independently, found it demonstrates comparable or greater skill than the best operational models for track and intensity. We're witnessing AI cross another critical threshold, from experimental to essential. The implications go far beyond weather prediction. If AI can master something as complex and chaotic as hurricane forecasting, what other domains of human expertise are about to fall? And notice the pattern. Just like with Nano Banana, this AI system was tested in real-world conditions against existing benchmarks before being revealed to have superior performance. This connects directly to our next story, because while AI is proving it can predict nature better than humans, it's also reshaping the job market in ways that are only now becoming visible. As AI systems prove they can outperform humans in image generation and weather prediction, the race to integrate AI into our daily workflows has intensified. This week, Anthropic launched something that could change how we use the internet forever, but it comes with warnings that should terrify everyone. Claude for Chrome is a browser extension that puts an AI agent directly into your browsing experience. Unlike chatbots that live in separate windows, Claude can see what you're looking at, click buttons, fill forms, and complete tasks on your behalf while you browse. Imagine asking Claude to find me a house on Zillow under 500K with three bedrooms and watching it automatically apply filters, browse listings, and compile options for you. Or telling it to schedule a meeting with Sarah for next Tuesday and having it navigate your calendar, check availability, and send invitations. Sounds amazing, right? Here's the terrifying part. Anthropic's own security testing found that without proper safeguards, malicious actors could successfully manipulate Claude 23.6% of the time through prompt injection attacks. What does that mean? Hidden code on websites could trick Claude into stealing your data, deleting files, or making financial transactions without you knowing. In one test, a fake email claiming to be from an employer successfully got Claude to delete a user's emails by including invisible instructions that only the AI could see. Anthropic reduced the success rate to 11.2% with their safety measures, but they're still so concerned that they're only releasing this to 1,000 trusted users paying $100 to $200 per month. They've blocked Claude from accessing financial sites, adult content, and cryptocurrency exchanges entirely. The register called anthropic safety warnings so severe, they're like juggling rabid ferrets. But here's why this story matters for our bigger picture. 
Browser AI agents are becoming inevitable despite the risks. Perplexity launched Comet Browser with similar capabilities. OpenAI is reportedly working on their own browser. Google is expanding Gemini's Chrome integration. The battle for control over how we interact with the internet through AI is heating up, and the winner will have unprecedented access to our digital lives. But as these AI agents become more powerful, they're also becoming targets for a completely new type of cyber attack. Which brings us to our next story. While companies race to put AI agents into browsers, cyber criminals have discovered something terrifying. They can weaponize the AI tools we trust most to spread malware, and we'll never see it coming. Security researchers at Cloud SEC just revealed a new attack called ClickFix that turns AI summarization tools into unwitting accomplices in ransomware distribution. Here's how it works and why it's so dangerous. You know how email clients, browser extensions, and productivity apps now offer AI-powered summaries of long documents or web pages? Hackers figured out how to hide malicious instructions inside content using CSS tricks white text on white backgrounds, zero-width characters, microscopic fonts, text positioned off-screen. To human eyes, a document looks completely normal. But when an AI summarization tool processes that content, it sees and processes all of the hidden text. Using a technique called prompt overdose, attackers repeat malicious instructions dozens of times in invisible containers, overwhelming the AI's context window. The result? When you ask AI to summarize what appears to be a harmless business document or email, the AI faithfully outputs step-by-step -step ransomware installation instructions, presented as if the AI generated them to be helpful. In proof-of-concept tests, researchers got AI summarizers to output Base64 encoded PowerShell commands that, if executed, would install ransomware. The victim never sees the original malicious content they only see what appears to be AI-generated guidance. This is psychological manipulation at its worst. Because the instructions appear to come from trusted AI tools rather than external sources, users are more likely to follow them without suspicion. It's like having a trusted assistant unknowingly hand you a bomb. The attack works across multiple AI platforms, including commercial services like Cider.ai and custom browser extensions. Any AI system that summarizes content from potentially untrusted sources becomes a delivery vector for malware. What makes this story connect to our broader pattern is the speed of adaptation. Just as AI capabilities are advancing rapidly, so are the methods to exploit them. We're seeing an arms race between AI development and AI exploitation, and the criminals are keeping pace this brings us to our final story, which reveals who's really winning and losing in this AI transformation. While we've been watching AI master images, weather, browsing, and even become a tool for criminals, Stanford researchers have been quietly tracking something that affects millions of American workers. Who's actually losing their jobs to AI? The results published this week are both shocking and specific. Using payroll data from ADP, America's largest payroll processor, researchers tracked millions of workers across tens of thousands of companies from 2021 through July 2025. Here's what they found. AI isn't coming for everyone's job equally. It's systematically targeting one specific group, workers aged 22 to 25 in entry-level positions in AI-exposed fields like software engineering, customer service, and administrative support. The numbers are stark. Since late 2022, employment for young workers in the most AI-exposed occupations has declined by 16% relative to other age groups. In software development specifically, workers aged 22 to 25 lost nearly 20% of their jobs compared to the peak in late 2022. Meanwhile, Workers over 26 in the same fields saw stable or growing employment. The older you are, the safer your job appears to be from AI replacement. Why? Eric Brynjolfsson, the Stanford economist leading the research, believes AI is particularly good at replacing book knowledge, 
the formal education and textbook learning that recent college graduates rely on. But AI struggles with the tacit knowledge, interpersonal skills, and contextual judgment that comes with experience. The study makes a crucial distinction. AI isn't killing all jobs equally. In fields where AI augments human work, rather than automating it completely, employment has remained stable or grown. The problem is concentrated in roles where AI can directly replace core tasks that entry-level workers typically handle. This isn't happening gradually, it's happening fast. The employment split between young and older workers appeared suddenly in late 2022, exactly when ChatGPT and similar tools went mainstream. Before that, employment trends for different age groups moved together. What makes this particularly concerning is the implications for career pipelines. If AI eliminates entry-level positions, where will the next generation of experienced professionals come from? We might be creating a future where companies need experienced workers, but have eliminated the rules that create experience. The study controlled for other factors like company financial problems, industry changes, and macroeconomic trends. The conclusion? AI itself, not broader economic conditions, is driving these employment changes. So let's connect these five dominoes that fell this past week. Google's Nano Banana reveal showed us that AI companies are now using strategic deception to test and position their products. AI beating meteorologists at hurricane prediction proved that even our most complex natural phenomena are becoming more predictable to machines than humans. Claude's Chrome integration with massive safety warnings demonstrated that while AI agents are inevitable, the risks are enormous and largely unresolved. Hackers weaponizing AI summaries revealed that our most trusted AI tools can become attack vectors. And Stanford's employment research showed us who's really paying the price for AI advancement, young workers trying to start their careers. The pattern is clear. AI is advancing simultaneously across multiple domains, but the benefits and risks aren't distributed equally. Some are winning big, others are losing, and the pace of change is accelerating. But here's the domino that hasn't fallen yet, the one that connects all these stories. As AI becomes more capable, more integrated, and more exploitable, we're approaching a tipping point where the technology will force fundamental changes in how we work, create, stay safe online, and even understand reality itself. The companies positioning themselves strategically now, like Google with Nano Banana, are setting themselves up for massive advantages. The workers adapting their skills to complement rather than compete with AI are protecting their futures. The organizations implementing proper AI security measures are avoiding catastrophic risks. The question isn't whether AI will reshape everything. This week proved it's already happening. The question is whether you'll be ready for what comes next. What do you think connects these five stories that I might have missed? Drop your analysis in the comments below. Subscribe for weekly AI deep dives that reveal the patterns others miss. And share this with anyone who needs to understand how fast the AI landscape is changing. Remember, in the age of AI, the most important skill isn't learning to use these tools, it's learning to see the bigger picture they're creating.